In this video today, we're going to learn about multiplying decimal numbers with zeros in the product. So this is a pretty simple skill. We're multiplying 7 times 3. 7 times 3 is 21. So the decimal placement though is key. There is one place to the right of the decimal for this factor and there is one place to the right of the decimal for this factor. And one and one equals two. So there are two decimal places in the factors up here and we need two decimal places in our product below. So we'll come over one, two. And our final answer is zero and 21 hundredths. All right, so in this problem, I'm going to go a little deeper and I'm going to show you why you don't have to multiply the zeros out. I'm going to actually multiply them out with the example of showing you why you don't have to do that, okay? So 9 times 4 is 36. 9 times 0 is 0. And then plus 3 is 3. And then you put your placeholder, 0 times 4 is 0, and 0 times 0 is 0, okay? Now, if you work that out, you're going to get the same thing if you just did it mentally. 9 times 4 is 36, right? So just next time, just do it mentally and put your decimals in the correct place. We have one decimal place for the top factor. We have one decimal place for the second factor. So below in the product, we need two decimal places because we have two above. So we're going to go over one, two and place our decimal. All right, so next time just multiply 9 times 4 is 36 and pull your decimals over without having to multiply all the zeros out. All right, so a quick example. Let's just multiply 8 times 5. 8 times 5 is 40. Let's count the decimal places. Behind the decimal, or you can say to the right of the decimal, 1, 2. And there is 1 for this factor, but a total of 3. So we need a total of 3 decimal places in the product. 1, 2, 3. And you can actually show how you're moving the decimal by moving it over this way. Fill in the hole with a 0. So our final answer is 40 thousandths. Another example, 9 times 7 is 63. Count your decimal places. There's 2 and here's 1 for a total of 3. We need 3 decimal places below. Start 1 two, three. Place your decimal, fill in the hole with a zero for your final answer of 63 thousandths. So zero and eighty hundredths times zero and one tenth. We'll just multiply one times eighty. What's one times eighty? It's just eighty, isn't it? And so now count your decimal places to the right of the decimal, one, two, and one here for a total of three decimal places. We're going to now move three decimal places over in the product as well. One, two, three. Fill in the hole with the zero for your final answer of zero and 80 thousandths. Okay, thank you for watching.